Good morning, Byram Schools. Welcome back to the Byram News Network. My name is Jude. And I'm Kevin. Today is Monday, March 12, 2018. It's a B-Day. Students looking to visit the Zen Zone during lunch. During lunch here is this week's schedule. The calendar is also posted in the main office window. Make sure you check it out each day to see its availability. Today's band lessons are French horns period two, beginner trombones period four, ad advanced trombones period seven, and beginner band period nine. Tuesday's band lessons are advanced alto saxophones period two, beginner alto saxophones period four, and beginner tenor saxophones period seven. Drama Club, your next rehearsal is tomorrow, March 13th after school. You'll need cast members for act one, scenes one through six. Stage crew, you will need to begin attending rehearsals. Please bring homework and something to read in case you are waiting for the other groups to finish. The STEM Club Solar Sprints are coming up. The meetings are after school on Thursday starting on March 15th. There is no meeting this Thursday. Students need to be available for every Thursday's practice in order to complete and join the team. The competition will be on May 17th at Picatinny Arsenal. If students want to join, they need to get a permission slip from the STEM lab. Your book, your next meeting is this Wednesday, March 14th after school. It'll go until 4.30. Rampage, your next meeting is also this Wednesday. It will go until 4.30 in Mr. Clayton's room. Environmental Club, your next meeting is March 26th. Finally today, the due date for the poster contest, contest to say no to drugs and alcohol is due March 16th. Entry forms can be found in the main office. Now let's get into today's segments. My name's Logan. And I'm Dominic. Today we will be looking into team teaching that Mrs. Taylor and Ms. Phillips have been involved in in the 7th grade ELA class. We interviewed them and a few other students to hear their thoughts. Let's go check it out. Um, do you like having another teacher in your classroom? I love having another teacher in my classroom. Um, how do you think it affects the kids? Um, I think it gives them uh, more opportunity to uh, get the help if they need it and having two of us um, to help different styles of learning so we're able to address um, more kids in a shorter period of time. Um, do you think the kids enjoy this way too? I believe so. I don't. I don't, haven't had anybody complain about it, but um, I, I do believe that they um, prefer to have two of us in the classroom rather than one. And do you think it's like a lot easier for them to learn this way? I think so. I think that um, even if um, a group lesson is being taught, there's still someone that can rotate around the room to make sure that. Um, kids are staying on task or understanding what the lesson is and then when there's independent work going on there's still someone to check the kids while they're doing independent work and we can do small group mini lessons in our uh, classes to help assist them also. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Do you like having two teachers in your classroom? I do. How do you think it affects the kids? Um, I think it's just another person to kind of circulate and make sure everybody's working what they're supposed to be doing and also it kind of lets us demonstrate the conversations that we're trying to get out of the kids sometimes by having that back and forth. Okay. Do you think the kids enjoy this way of learning? I would say so, yeah. I think that it's definitely makes it um, easier for them if they have a question or if we're running different mini lessons. They definitely have two brains to kind of pick as opposed to just one. Do you think this helps your learning, having two teachers? Yes, because if one teacher is busy helping a student, there's another teacher. Um, do you like having two teachers instead of one? Yes, there's just more help. And um, how do you think your time is going in ELA this year? Uh, I get more work done faster. Okay, thank you. Um, do you think having two teachers makes learning easier? Yes, because, uh, for example, if there's one teacher at a mini lesson, then you can just ask the other teacher for help. All right, you guys have a minute left. Well, how do you think ELA is going in this class? It's going really good because um, if one, like, it's going really good. 
And do you think that having two teachers is better than having just one? Yeah, because I would get both, like I would get, let's say I ask one teacher for one example and ask the other teacher for the same example, I, they can explain it two different ways and see which example I can use for my learning. All right, thank you. Do you think having two teachers makes language like, easier? Yeah. Why? Because um, there's more teachers in the room so that you can ask more questions. Do you think this helps you learn? Yeah. Um, do you like having two teachers better than one teacher? Oh, uh, yeah. Alright, thank you. That's it for Monday's episode. We end today with the quote of the day. This quote is written by William Shakespeare. He said, We know, we know what we are, but not what we may be. Make it a great day, Byron, or not. The choice is yours.